welcome to the testing world so in this session we are going to start recording in load runner that will be our first recording i am going to take the url of my demo application and we are moving to the virtual user generator so here first we need to go this new script icon click on add new script and it will ask for the protocol so as we know it's a web-based application so they are using svb html protocol i have selected that single protocol whatever the name i want to give so here i'm giving demo script whatever the name you want to give you can give it over here click on create so let's start so once started we are going to get few options like on the left hand side we are getting three actions by default is v user init action and v user end in these actions the recording will be take place in this in this action with the name action as well so whatever the recording we are going to do by default it will go to this action we user init execute before this action and we user end execute after this action in next session when we cover actions in detail we are going to cover all these actions as well so as of now i'm on a script and i want to start recording so here we have the option to start recording as we click on that it asks for by default it's going to record all the script in this action in the action with the name action as well and which browser you want to use so i want to use google chrome and what is the url so that's my url that's the url of our demo application so everything is set and we click on the start recording so now it will start recording so it's asking for like my chrome is already up and running so would you like to close them yes please close it and start recording so recording is started and here it's going to start browser and then we can perform recording on that so a new browser is started and whatever the task you want to perform like first i want to go to the sign up so I'm going to the sign up and here I'm giving testing word as a username, testing as a password. So I'm giving all the information. Click on continue but before clicking on the continue one thing uh, which i want to discuss over here like if you worked on a qtp or selenium when we are typing something on a text box or we are clicking on somewhere so one line is recorded but here in the load runner even we have filled complete form and it will not record anything in load runner it's going to record only the transactions which are taking place between the client and server so as of now we have just filled the form we did not send anything to the server so that's because it's not recorded anything as of now when we click on this continue button it's going to send few data to the server then it will make one recording one recording with all these data so as i click on continue button here you can check it is started so here the username is already taken so i am using testing word 11 and again you can check it over here like here we have 103 steps which are recorded as we click on the continue button so rest of the steps are recording click on continue and now we are logged in as well so my scenario is that register then click on flights then click on home and at the end sign off so that was my scenario 
and once the scenario has been recorded you can go to this stop button to stop recording and the shortcut is control f5 as well so if you are thinking about uh, certification of this load runner we can keep remember these shortcuts because there we have few questions which are related to these shortcuts as well so i click on the stop button and now we see it's going to generate script for all the recording that that i have performed here we can see in actions it display all the recording that we have done and i want to show you that registration so here we can see i was doing the registration i have entered all these details and all these details entered on a single function so a single function is generated for the complete registration process if we you know worked on a qtp or selenium so for each action like if i'm writing username for each action one line of code is generated but here for complete page a single function is generated because load runner does not record each and every activity it record activity which took place between the client machine and server machine so when we click on the continue only that time it is sending the complete data to the server and it has it has recorded that request as well so that's my recording and if you want to execute this if you want to run it and check how it's working so here we have the run button so running it and here it display all the steps that are executing so once the execution is done we can go for result file as of now it's going to display error because when we submit registration form it's going to use same details to register because username is already taken so it's not able to submit the data and because of that we are not able to log in so we are not able to log in so it's not able to find out that search button and the sign off button so that's the reason it's getting failed that it is not able to find out that search button so it's not able to send the request for that so that's the main reason of the failure we are going to handle this that kind of scenario in which uh, if we want to use the dynamic data so every time when we are going for registration a new data will be used and in that case it's not going to fail but we are going to cover that part in parameterization so as of now we have just recorded and executed our script we can do lot of settings in the recording as well so here we have recording options we can go to the recording options and perform different recording settings so we are going to cover all these settings in the later part of the course apart from it all the results that we are getting in the failure so we can check this replay summary and we can export to the pdf as well these we can see in the next part of the course so we are going to cover that so as of now when we have executed we are not getting any browser everything is taking place on the back end if you want to see a browser so we can go to the tools options and here we have ting replay inside the replay we are going to get this show runtime viewer during replay so it's not a browser it's just a browser like window which is going to show complete execution at the runtime so i click on ok and start execution again so now our runtime viewer is open and it's going to show because username is taken we are not able to register and as we are not able to register that's why we are not able to move ahead so that's the main reason of the failure so with the help of the runtime viewer we can check why my script is getting failed or which page my script is getting failed so if you want to check we have set the runtime viewer from tools options then we are going for the scripting here we have replay and show runtime viewer during replay 
one more thing that is already set like auto arrange window when runtime viewer opens it's automatically arrange the size of the window we are not going to get the complete page window it's automatically set its size but if we remove this checkbox so it's going to open the complete page size window one more important setting after replay is that after replay what you want to see so if you want to see the replay summary as we have seen when we execute that replay summary open then fine else we can switch it to the script that i don't want to see the replay summary at the end i just want to see script so click on script okay selected the script and okay so now i am running it again so here we can see the window is opened again we are not able to log in because username was already taken so we are not able to even register once it is done so after the execution my script is open it's up to us that we want to open replay summary or execution result or we can open the script that we have created so that's all we have for the recording in next few sessions we are going to cover actions transactions parameterization correlation but for this session we just going for how we can perform recording in loader thanks for watching this video